interested in Cadiern and his dissenters. It's simple, really. From the moment we awakened, our mother has molded us into an idealized version of nobility. She doesn't see or care who we are, so long as we match her ideal of us. I felt it too. The pressure to be perfect. Yes. And the pain that comes with failing to live up to her expectations. Why can't she love us unconditionally? She claims to believe that all weeds and blossoms are equal, yet she tries to make us all into blossoms. I love you, just as you are. We belong together. Come on, my darling. Let's go rescue our sprouts. Put your hand on my arm. But if your way fails, we do it my way. Stay close. for their cruelty. Focus on their leader. Hello, crew. Some reinforcements would be appreciated. Hey, crew. Your shields will protect you against the creature's attacks. Now find that creature while I maintain the shield generators. Be anywhere. Generator malfunctioning. I nearly lost my shield.
invincible. Creatures, and certainly not winds. Stop obsessing. By now, Wynn is all the way out in the Silver Race. And you're not a fool. Wynn is guarding an important secret. No one person should control our fate, my love. You really think she knows something she's not telling us? I know she does. She said to Mother, they can never know. It could exert unspeakable power over all Silvari. You must know what that power is. Once the Sprouts are safe, you and I are going out to the Silver Wastes to confront her. 